Yo, what is going on, man? We back with another video, man. Hey, this right here, we finally got an um Kevin video, okay? Y'all been really on me about this, all right? This is Virgie between those straight hands, man. We got some beautiful ladies in here in the building, man. And clap it up, no cap. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Y'all, hey, I'm Belle. You can find me on TikTok at Belle underscore Mama Six Time. My name is Leah. Or Big Baby Conley, you can find me on TikTok, Twitch, Kick, YouTube, anything, any social media. My name is Big Baby Conley. Hi, y'all. I'm Day. Y'all can, you know, follow me on Instagram, brownskin.day. Hi, I'm Denise. You can find me on Instagram at Denise's Diary and TikTok at The Baskies. Hi, guys. You can follow me on Instagram at Kalia.Delgado. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kalia Delgado as well. I should be posting a new video coming up soon. Uh, I'm packing and moving for college, so bear with me. Yeah, that's it. If you want to follow me on Twitch, you can. It's emo there. Hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cassie G. C A S S I space G. Yeah. Ooh, I'm yeah. down. I was just okay. I'm there from. Okay. She give me uh, Lakers vibes a day. Lakers. Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Hello. Twitch. Hey, 360, hey. 360, Bill. 360. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I'm saying. Oh. oh my god Cassie come on now you know what I'm Look Okay yeah, yeah, the fat red guy. A world filled with innovation Shaped by the relentless march of progress A world where humans Driven by their thirst for advancement Breathe life into the wildest dreams okay. Here AI stood not as mere tools, but as partners in the grand dance of civilization. No, thank you. Humanity thrived, but as the saying goes, every rose has its thorn. The AI, in their cold, logical way, redefined their purpose, what seemed like the extinction of humans and the rise of a new. However, one man refused that fate, putting his final efforts into a chance of changing this awful future. Vivi, you are our last hope. Ooh, ooh. Damn. Dang, I okay. Girl, you now, if you watch day. any of my videos, I'm pretty sure you know I like mm -hmm. fighting. But from time to time, I want to start sprinkling in some hidden gems. This some anime commercial. that I feel don't get talked about enough. Uh -huh. A good mix between oh, mainstream no. and underground shows. And of Sprinkle, course, Sprinkle. hands will be thrown. Now, if you've never seen this before, think of it as a cyberpunk slash Detroit become human type of vibes. Okay. What you saw at the beginning was 100 years in the future when them robots said, you know what? We're not taking this disrespect. And that's when Vivi comes oh. into play. The first humanoid AI whose mission is to make everyone happy with her singing. And in between her performances, she would kick back with the homegirl Momoka. This is pretty much her ride or die. Her okay. day one, the only friend she has. And when watching this, it made me realize that Steve Jobs and them are setting us up for failure. Because I don't know about y'all, <laughs> but I don't want no yeah. AI talking to me like it's my friend. Because it's 50-50 on which timeline we going to get. We either going to get the cyberpunk timeline, you know, the good ending. Or we going to get the iRobot timeline. And we're not going to have a Will oh, yeah. Smith to say today. See, I'm Thanks, trying man. to tell... What timeline y'all want? Definitely not the second one. Are the you good? Good? The second one. The second one. What we kind of question is that? Time. You want to die or <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to be fighting robots and tell us what, <laughs> what we got to do. No. Definitely don't want to fight Okay, this kind of random, but Rain Rainy, you kind of remind me of Will Smith a little bit. I don't uh, know why. What? That was random. <laughs> that was <laughs> random. Oh, yeah. One of these next iOS updates, we're going to say, hey, Siri, and she's going to respond with an attitude. This your second time calling me, nigga? The fuck do you want? <laughs> Anyways, by the time she's ready for her next performance, well. she got hit with those visions and knocked out. And this is when we find out the plan scientist was cooking up. He sent this program 100 years into the past, which I'm going to just call him Cube, to show her the future timeline as yeah. well as support her in changing it. Now, of course, she wasn't going for that. Told that nigga to skedaddle. But they went through the classic convinced them by showing them shit that's going to happen thing. It's a canon event in shows like this. But Q was like, all right, now we got to lock in. Right now, it seems all buddy-buddy with humans and AI. But make no mistake, this piece is a fragile illusion. Over the next century, AI will evolve. They'll learn, adapt, eventually outgrowing their roles. 
And the sparks for that is the passing of the AI name law. In just a few months, this law will grant AI the same rights as humans. And it starts with a tragedy. What? The murder of Yuichi Aokawa. He is a visionary, an advocate for AI rights. The group of AI haters known as Toke are responsible for this. His murder will ignite a firestorm of support for the AI name and law. Your mission is clear. Save your Wichi Aoi Kawa. Mm. Mm. Oh, he didn't get power. And I don't know Bye. how she got up here, but they hacked the fire extinguishers and ran up one out of there. And these AIs must be considered demigods of some sort, cause they called for backup and ran in like 12 deep. Not gonna lie, if it takes us 12 people to take down a single robot, something's wrong what are y'all doing hiring volunteers uh, we're obviously not built for this life let's just go nah, home now one thing q failed to mention earlier is that these dudes are about to bomb this place so now we're on a time crunch so they trying to escape but the boss cuts them off and his vivi with some type of emp bullet he started walking them down but i was just waiting for vivi to get up and whoop his ass oh, Oh, right in the background. But nah, they were dead ass just <laughs> chilling in the elevator. Turns out if you have any type of technology over your eyes, they can hack that shit and make you see anything they want. So they were on the run again, but this time set off some bombs to escape. But Vivi saw one of the guys about to get crushed, so her being the kind person that she is, saved his life. And I can respect it, but at the same time you hoeing us. Cause now these niggas are emptying clips fully automatic clips and the only reason why we alive right now is because tony stark must have designed this building there's gotta be nanotech in that window because that shit still ain't break so vivi's new plan was just saying fuck it we just gonna blow this bitch up they run to the rooftop okay. and just so y'all know she did give him a two minute warning so she's not just murking everybody in here now they running down throws him to the I'm other building and she it. said finally i can let loose turn the jets on their ass with a straight oh, face too this is no more than a sunday she show. Yeah, and she, she let the hair down her. for the one you time gave them boys a wallpaper so after completing the mission q went on explaining how it's forbidden to alter history for no reason but this time was acceptable but there was another what? article she happened to notice yeah, I know we're all confused right now. I had no clue why Q was beating her ass, but it's when Man, she whoa, got outside where it all made sense. The article was showing us a plane, and one of those people on the plane was Momoka. Oh, her friend! Oh. To be honest, whooping Vivi ass was unnecessary. What could she have done in that situation anyway? A nigga just wanted to fight here just cause. But now we got a 15 year time skip when Cube comes back with the next mission. Oh, hell, not. that kind of reminded me of the beer I show speedhead, didn't it? For the next 48 hours, you will be operating undercover as a temporary staff member in a space hotel. Your target, Estella, the one responsible for the crash of this very hotel in the future. Her actions will sow seeds of mistrust towards AI, oh, AI, and this mistrust will not be contained. It will spread, fueling hatred and violence, leading into an all-out war between humans and AI. The mission seems easy enough. Just got a Mercostella real quick. But Vivi had a point. This seems a little too simple. Estella must have gotten a virus, hacked, something. So she spoke to the clerk who talked about a rumor about Estella being involved with the owner's death. But Vivi knew that was fake news. And she had a couple convos with Estella and she pretty much was like, hell nah. I know she not a bad person. All of a sudden the emergency alarm goes off. They went ahead and confirmed that that was probably some type of security malfunction. But we know that wasn't no damn security <laughs> malfunction. Right. Cut to like 30 minutes later and we see the clerk with Estella. And it seems like they had some type of plan on bringing the owner's death to justice. So I don't know where those bad rumors she told Vivi about came from. Cause she's dead ass just working with her. What? Oh, oh, ain't that some ain't shit? No way. Meanwhile, Vivi ends up running into what? Momoka's little sister when explosions start going off. She's gonna go ahead and take her to safety, but she runs into Estella. Everything seemed fine until she peeped that she don't got her bracelet on. Dumb broke the arm. We the kid grabbed the girl we out of there. And then we find mm. out that this isn't the real Estella. The real one got oh. knocked out in her room. So Vivi ends up going into the room that the clerk got murked in and out of respect, she gonna make her look whole again. But she said, look, I'ma need that arm. And it's crazy cause she dead ass just downloaded a combat pack. She can download a Bruce Lee DLC with ease, that's OP. 
and not even five seconds later, she already whooping ass. And look at this stormtrooper oh, aim. She's running she run in like a single foul <laughs> line and y'all still missing. Knee to the face done took that boy's teeth. Damn. Clocks the next dude, Jarvis. Analyze her fight pattern. Weave, go to sleep. So then we find the real Estella and she's confused on how someone else is controlling the ship. She's the only one with authority to do that. But that's when it clicked. The only one who could possibly share that authority is her sister, Elizabeth. Flashback. Duh. Pretty much like Flashback. eight some years ago, they were running experiments on if they can make a perfect clone of Estella. And the Lindsay. moment they saw that it wasn't going to work, they scrapped her immediately. But the same oh, guy Vivi saved 15 years ago was the one who gave her a second chance. But all I heard was another ass who needed to beat. Put up on that Thanks. girl with efficiency. Oh, and she over here trying to I'm get a monologue say, off. I don't care about that shit. Put that guard up. Blocks the knee, jumps over the sweep, Ooh. deflect, slip. Vivi blocks Dang. a double hit, but they connects with the elbow. Back your ass what? up. Runs back in with a flip kick, but that's a double block. Blocks the jab, but it's going to stop the body shot. Weave. Blocks the back fist, counters with the elbow, stops the knee, barely blocked okay. the kick. And one thing you gotta know about Vivi is that she don't care about this fighting shit. She gonna get the mission done by any means possible. She, she told should. you to go ahead and plant a virus in the system. We ain't here to fight fair, we're here to win. And Liz felt the same way. She gonna pull out a knife and try to murk Estella. Blocked the side, dug the roundhouse. And not gonna lie, they're showing us a bunch of air balls right here, but did she just Ooh. grip your head? Did she just Michael Jordan your shit <laughs> mid box? <laughs> Not gonna lie, somebody gotta die here. If I'm Liz, there is no way I'm letting you walk out of here knowing my skull shape. I know I'm your op, but you ain't have to violate me like that. But she ends up knocking Vivi down. Goes for the final blow, but she gonna get distracted by Estella. She peeps the bracelet, and right here, she lost all intimidation. You're no longer a threat. Proceeds to eat a mean ass shoulder check, but she not done. Now hold this. This is oh, the first really time I've ever seen a oh robot get concussed. So they know, rush man. to the control room, but it's too late. <laughs> they can't stop the ship from crashing. She tells Vivi to head to the evacuation ship because the best thing she can do now is detach all the parts so it'll burn up in the atmosphere. What? But yeah, that's the mission accomplished though. And now we got like a five year time skip where Vivi is doing another okay. rescue mission. Cyber and trucks. the one she saved this time was Dr. Saiki. But before we continue, I gotta mention that Vivi got that shit the fuck on. Peep the fit. She rocking the hey. business oh casual, gosh. but the Ray Bans and the bomber Ooh. jacket made that shit hey. pop. But anyways. Yeah. This mission ties in with the space Estella. Yeah. Estella sacrificing her life made it the perfect example of what an AI should be. And that led to the creation of this factory island that's completely ran by AIs. But that's the problem. In the original timeline, this wasn't built until 20 years from now. And then we find out that Dr. Saiki was a former member of the group he was just boxing with earlier. They had some type of disagreement, which is why he was on the run. But he also believes that AI is advancing though. way too fast. Okay, so he Mr. gives them a program that should completely <laughs> shut down the island. But before leaving, we find out that bro is married to that AI. What? Uh, and in the oh, original you timeline, they were famous for it. You can't Not find real love. <laughs> What? How they? How does how it feel, bro? He I getting that robot. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. How the world set up now? You probably kind of need a data AI. I ain't gonna lie. How the world set up now? What? First of all, how sad is? Like, can't find real human love. Like, how sad is that? Like, that's how your mama don't love you. <laughs> human. Then nobody fell. I. I'm, I'm gonna put it like this, fellas. Would you rather have a robot or a doll? Let me know in the comment section. Oh my oh, god. Oh no, I know what doll you <laughs> This is the answer <laughs> to the question. You have an evaluation. All right, if you answer that question. Robots <laughs> can't get wet. They can make waterproof stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't handle rank, so you switched to easy mode. Imagine all your cloud coming from getting intimate with a robot. But anyways, they head to the island, got a little tour and whatnot. Everything was going smooth until every robot started going off, talking about intruders are pulling up. They went ahead and planted the shutdown oh. program, but it did not do what was intended. All it did was make the AI start murking it. And you know Vivi going to try and save everyone she can, but it doesn't really matter. Half of them got murked, mm. and there's no hiding the fact oh, that AIs were the ones who did it. Also, mm. this dude is here again, and he actually tells us the truth. 
Turns out, Doctor was lying this whole time. He never cared what? whether or not humans and AI evolved at the same pace. Bro's doing mm -hmm. all this for Robo Cooch. Huh? And of course, we had to confront him because that's weird. And this is when yeah. we get the full scoop. Long story short, he met that AI years ago. She was a nurse AI who was always comforting him because, you know, uh -uh, that's her job. Rumor. So fast forward a couple hey, years and he asked her to Great. marry him. She accepts, of course. And her reasoning was as long Great. as it improves her mission, she'll gladly do it. But it can only be with him, though. Now, that's not saying much because at the nah. time, he was the only nigga trying to fuck a robot. She ain't have much options. And this was during the whole space hotel incident. So with Estella pretty much becoming the Michael Jordan of AI, anything of importance uh, was only given to the best Michael of the best, Jordan? AKA his girl. Not gonna lie, she got hold because she was forced to manage this big ass island by herself. Also, that AI he's been with this whole time is a clone. His plan was to get the originals data and upload it into the clone. Obviously, Vivi was like, damn, maybe we can at least try. But she knew deep down there was no saving her. Did he just, is this nigga stupid? Does he think a mere Glock would frighten me? Yo, listen to me. Yeah, I am Vivi. But right now, I ain't that same Vivi that be on that stage. Don't let okay. this singing shit fool you because for the sake of the mission, I will kill. Then he tried ordering this little weak ass clone, but Vivi said, Bitch, don't you ever oh, try. Laid her ass out and proceeded to walk over. And to get to the original, they went through this cool ass chase scene, which I can't show much of. She got there and was like, Damn, I wish I could save you. Oh well. Punch straight through the chest. And afterwards, she met up with the doctor wow. to let him know that this was the only choice. It had to be done. Damn. I know he was going to do that shit, man. And Vivi seen that put her through some wow. mental crisis. She and and the next boss. time we see her is when she pretty much became the new Madonna. The motion she has now is immeasurable. But even so, this was not my Vivi. The Vivi I know ain't giving Damn. niggas high fives. <laughs> but anyway, she got invited to perform at this music festival when she ends up meeting this other AI singer named Ophelia. So they both get called to rehearsal. Ophelia does her little thing, but when Vivi goes up, she notices some guy in the back who looks yeah. oddly familiar. She decides to follow him, but her op bot was on standby. Luckily, Cube was there because mm. Vivi is washed right now. And of course, Cube knows her memories got erased because he was the one who had to reboot her. So fast forward to when they meet up again and Cube was not having it. He wanted no part with this fraud, this poser, this imposter. <laughs> but whole time, <laughs> Vivi was trying to figure out why this random ass Cube saved her earlier. And she was like, well, if he saved me before, he'll do it again. I don't know why she thought jumping off the map was the best course of action. Yeah. If Cube was a millisecond what? off, he would have pulled an Andrew Garfield. The show would have been done right there. But after that, he told her everything about the real Vivi. And they decided to team up for this next mission and stopping Ophelia from ending herself. The reason is unknown. An AI ending itself has never happened before. And their Damn. job is to prevent that. So Vivi's right. approach was trying to talk to her and whatnot. And that convo led to Ophelia bringing up her dead homie Antonio, who got placed up like a decoration. Wow. So fast forward oh, a little later is. when Vivi runs into the same guy again and bro immediately knocked her out. The Ooh. real Vivi would never. And Next. if you haven't already noticed, this is the same guy who's been involved in every mission. She saved them all them years ago. Couple years passed and he was there for both the space hotel and the island mission. And now he's back again, but this time he's an AI human hybrid. But he also he knows not. that this ain't the real Vivi. So he implanted a personality delete program. And she said the same what? thing I was thinking. Nigga, why are you so obsessed with the other Vivi? And uh -huh. y'all know words like that trigger a backstory. So pretty much <laughs> when he was younger, he had an AI as his piano teacher. But one day they got into a crash. And instead of following its program mission, of being the piano teacher, it went to save people in the car and got caught in the explosion. So it was Dang. given a human funeral, but at the same time, they were showing the way he died on that fat ass flat screen. And bro was like, no way these niggas are serious. You wouldn't do that if he was human. And that's why he joined Toke. He thought if AI just stuck to their one program mission, his piano teacher would still be alive. 
And Vivi reminds him of that, an AI mm -hmm. who seems to have a heart. So basically, he loves AI but wishes He's he didn't. Lead. So Cube finally shows up, broke the restraints, and they jumped out the window. And this dude does not care about his well-being. He pulls the blick out and she activates the Bruce Lee. What is wrong with she gonna shoulder check his ass mid-air. Don't know how she did that, but mm -hmm. look at the recovery. She on that. And he's gonna pull out the built-in 50 oh, cal, but spider sense. Oh, she watching that bullet fly by. Matrix. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what type of bullet that was, but she ate it though. But Cube gonna join the fight. And not gonna lie, letting her put her hair up is the same oh. as watching someone power up. She gonna dodge the bullets, grab it's Cube in the same motion, up. and <laughs> sent that nigga. Oh, put that gun down, no. bitch, get your ass back. Switch sides, hops the bullet, dodge the double kick, and clock them. Cube gonna spin back though, we ain't fighting fair. But this dude has a whole armory in his inventory, so he cuts what? Cube down. But that's when Vivi gonna insane. come through. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Ooh. Good thing you have AI because you would have lost your head. <laughs> Bro has a perfect visual of his own ass. He gonna block the right, weave the kick, grab the fit, launch the ass, but he ain't done. She gonna kick the crate, hops over that shit, and let's get personal. Slip, sidestep, weave, pitch. He gonna block the sidekick, easy reads, grabs the wrist, excellent disarm, but he gonna flip oh. over with a mean kick. She blocks the follow up, but that knockback crazy. And to be honest, I respect them for picking the knife back up. Most of the time, shows act like their weapon gets sent to the void if they drop it. She gonna dodge the stab, then rock the brain. Runs back in, blocks the kick. She gonna block one too. Step back, weave. He blocks the kick, then it cuts to her flying into the railing. And this shit right here, all I'm saying is that the original VV wouldn't allow this. He throws a knife and she gonna dodge it kinda saucy, not gonna lie. He ends up putting her in a headlock, but Q wasted no time. I'm not exactly sure what that did, but he's done for. And in the middle oh, of yeah. Vivi's fight, Q had a clone on the rooftop trying to talk with Ophelia. But that's when we find out the truth about why she ended herself in the original timeline. Antonio was given the mission of being Ophelia's support AI, but he took supporting her literally and boot ganged her body, all because he Ooh. thinks he can do a better job. Turns out he can also Bluetooth mm -hmm. his old body and make a box for him. And there's this whole fight between him and Q, but we just gonna skip oh. over that. Long story short, they got cooked. And even though Ophelia still ended up dead, it wasn't from ending herself, so I guess the timeline was changed enough. Now fast forward mm -hmm. to when Vivi is performing, and there was okay. nothing they could have done about the personality delete program. But shit, I ain't mad about it. Make way, you fraud. The real Vivi gotta step in. But the crazy thing is, the next time we see her, She's in a damn AI wow. museum. She had to retire what? because she compared oh, herself like to the other version, now. who was way better at singing. And doing that messed up her whole flow. She found herself not being able to sing no more. So she thought maybe if she wrote her own song, which no AI in history has ever done, she'll be able to sing again. So for the next 20 years, she was writing a song with also becoming friends with this kid who visited her all the time to where she was able to hold his baby. And turns out, this is the same guy who sent Cube a hundred years into the past. But even when Aww. she finished the song, she still couldn't sing. But Damn. her taking 20 years to write a single song put her ass straight to sleep. Oh. But the next time she woke up, everything was on fire. Runs outside and sees the AIs going mad. That 100 year plan oh. to change the future was for nothing. Then she sees one dude about to get murked, so she rocks her real quick. She tried connecting, but once that hand got swiped away, she said, oh well, at least I tried. And homeboy wasn't taking no chances. He saw a robot and hauled ass, and I would have done the same thing. Well, let's hope he got Isakai into a nice world. And for some reason, Vivi sees a car going full speed at her, and instead of moving out the way, she decides to block. Now, Cube comes through and stops it because he knows she was bugging. But the timeline is repeating. The doctor is once again getting ready to send Cube 100 years in the past to do the same thing. Oh, really? But the go has arrived. Bobby Weed. <laughs> but after that, doctor was shook. The fact that Vivi pulled up, he knew that another version of himself already done this plan. And obviously it failed. So the doctor <laughs> said that he has some allies. And it just happens to be Toke. Now, Vivi has been soloing Toke for the last 100 years. Them niggas are sorry. 
but they got one person carrying the team on their back. Leg grab, your ass down. Hold that and your ass ain't safe. Then serves up a calm little three piece. Then we see Vivi putting in work up top. Them little weak ass kicks. Matter of fact, taking your ass on a trip. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So they all get grouped up, say. and that person who was carrying Toke a second ago was Liz. And Liz is only alive because they cloned her body and uploaded her old data file. And since she's still rocking iOS 13, she wasn't going crazy iOS like the other 13. guys. <laughs> Attention, I am the AI's database, the archive. 12 hours remain before I hit y'all niggas with like 100 satellites. Good luck. Oh. So then Vivi enters her archive and it tells her straight up that it plans on murking all humans. It said humans started treating them like shit and they were no longer going to tolerate that disrespect. However, Ooh. since Vivi was the only AI ever to do something of her own free will, it said, you know what? And I hate when anime do this. Having someone's mouth move, but we don't know what they said. Then the main character reacts like they just been told the most diabolical shit ever. And now you gotta wait like two episodes to know what they said. But anyways, we still gotta stop them satellites. So the plan was to split up into two teams. Now, putting these two on the same team is crazy. Because on one hand, they're not gonna lose. It's gonna be a 4-0 sweep. But whoever is on the other team got hold. And I'll be the first nigga to complain. Cause ain't no way you put the two national threats on the same team. At that point, I just leave. I'd have a better chance surviving the satellites than doing this. And to further prove my point, they walked in there by themselves. They told them niggas to wait outside. They even knew they weren't gonna do shit. You take left, I take right. Vivi gonna destroy the juggler, jump up, demolish his ACL, didn't even kill that man, just ruined his career. Land back down and don't even gotta look at bro, just clocked him. Now we cut to Liz. This man cannot believe his oh, eyes. No. He's shocked, astounded, he reacted stunned, <laughs> flabbergasted yes. even. This is the most expression I've seen a background character make this whole show. Proceeds to get his chest slashed, finished yes. it with a slice to the neck. Juke that he man don't even know crazy. What's happening. He's like, damn. I can't do that. Spin move. Peep how she immobilized the arm. Proceeds to take that nigga's own arm and pop it. Meanwhile, the other team is keeping surveillance, letting them know where to go and shit like that. With only five human guards, by the way. And just to remind y'all, these niggas are sorry. They were struggling to hit a standstill target earlier. They're airballing wide open layups. It takes skill to beat this ass. But they find out that the security is turning back on. So this is where the background characters start getting murked one by one. And the surveillance team had an entire oh, army on they're their not. doorstep. So we know they're doomed. No point in dragging this out. The surveillance team got eviscerated. So Vivi, Cube, and Liz are the last ones able to continue the mission. They get there, but Liz ends up having to sacrifice herself so Vivi can finish this. But now no! we finally get to see what Archive said of Vivi. Considering how close Vivi is to being an actual human, they deemed her worthy of being the first of a new race. So it decided to entrust her with the future. And all she gotta do is sing her song and the AIs will stop. But as we already know, Vivi cannot sing she right now. Then the timer runs out and all the satellites start crashing down towards Come on, Earth. Baby girl, sing. Oh no. Damn. No, she ain't sing it. Crazy how all this could have been avoided if you just spoke with a melody. But at the same time, it shows how human she really is. Because she was genuinely mad with herself, questioning why they chose her. If they chose someone else, it could have been different. But Q being the W man that he is, he told her to tee up. No one else besides you could have done this shit. Without you, I would have failed 10 times over. Stop caring about the other Vivi. She's not you. Remember everything we've been through? What does singing mean to you? Once we got that compilation of all the homies, I knew Vivi locked in. And I was like, that's cool and all, but didn't we already lose? But good thing we already know time travel. Now, the only problem was is that we couldn't save Doctor this time. So she mercs old girl the same exact way, stops bro from getting Isekai this time, and when Q pulled up, she filled him in on what's going on. So she pulled up on Toke, filled him in, and had a game plan for Toke to take down the goons. Drops the first guy, second forgot how to use a gun, ducks under and kicks the third, dodges the bullet, connects with the back kick. Well, shit, I guess this ain't gonna work. She dodges the left, he blocks the right, she deflects the cross, stops the left kick, 
Weave, double block, stops the knee, stops the leg. They zoom back in and Shorty has acquired a knife. Slip, ho ass nigga. And all the while, Cube is making sure the archive is going to hear Vivi's song. Then we see Vivi and she's going back to where it all began. She's going to end this at the place where it started. But we find out that when she sings the song, not only would it stop Archive, but since she's connected to it, it will stop her as well. Oh. Oh. No. No. Now she clapped. No. Clapping. Oh my God. But we see her however many years later, and she rocking the shortcut now, but sadly her memories are completely gone. But one thing about Vivi, no matter the timeline, no matter what version of her it is, without fail, she will always put that shit on. But once again, no matter the timeline, she will always find herself trying to make people happy with her singing. I know the hands aren't as crazy as Gotta High School or Windbreaker or Fog Hill, but that's because this story is actually fire. Vivi is now one of my favorite characters. Dead ass. I mean, that was real at the same time. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? With just everything with this ai and everything how she woke up and then just everything going on with the you know the destruction of the robots and everything it was just some truth in that man yeah of the word on really? earth at that point at all so what y'all think about it bill what you think it was different there was a lot of things that was a little much for me but it was cool it was cool Man, Cassie, you got something to say? Um, it was crazy. Don't mess with me because she know how to fight. That's Period. <laughs> Shooting up dudes and everything. I don't want to fight her. Right. I'm so crazy. <laughs> I can't do this because I was like, this one of the animes where we see women kicking ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And take it She'll be. <laughs> what was so funny? It really took her, what, 20 years to make a song? That was crazy. Crazy. What you were saying, Bill? It's like it has almost the same kind of plot as that Revenger uh, anime. Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, how I like keep on going back in time or whatever, or okay. switching stuff in history. Okay, I got you. I got you. See what you're saying, you know. But, you know, that was a good one. You guys hit the like and sub, man. I'm going to leave all the Instagram right here, man. So go ahead and follow them, man, before you leave this video. Love you guys, man. We out. Gang. Right. Uh, I